The Fat Controller came to see the engines with important news. Thomas, Percy, Gordon and Henry, he boomed. It has been found out that most of your parts are worn and need of repair, so you'll need to go to the works to be mended and to be given a new coat of paint as well. But I can't send you all at once as there's still trains to be run on the railway. So Thomas, you will go first. Percy and Toby can look after Annie and Clarabel until you get back. Yes, sir, said Thomas. He was looking forward to feeling good as new and puffed to the turntable. Thomas whistled goodbye and puffed away to the works. A couple of weeks had passed since Thomas left for the works. Then suddenly they heard a distant whistle. It's Thomas! yelled Percy. And it was. He puffed happily into the yards with new coupling hooks, a new lamp, a new coat of paint, and a brand new shining whistle. He looked wonderful. The engines whistled and cheered. Welcome back, Thomas, called the Fat Controller. I say they have done an amazing job on you. Yes, sir, they did. But I'm really looking forward to being really useful again, said Thomas. That's a good engine, said the Fat Controller. But I'm sure you'll need to rest first after the long journey. Thomas agreed and backed into the sheds. Percy, you're next to go, said the Fat Controller. Thomas, Toby and Doc will do your work until you come back. Percy went to the turntable and was turned round, feeling excited to feeling new like Thomas. Percy whistled goodbye and puffed away. A week had almost gone by since Percy left to be mended and Thomas was starting to miss him. He should have been back a few days ago, thought Thomas. Just then the Fat Controller arrived. I just received the call from the works, said the Fat Controller. Percy will be arriving any minute now. And just as he said it, they heard the whistle. Here he is, called Thomas. And as the sounds got closer and closer, in puffed Percy. He looked brand spanking new, with new coupling hooks, a new whistle, his cab footsteps moved in line with his frame, and a new coat of paint. The engines whistled in delight at Percy's look. When silence fell, the fat controller spoke. Welcome back, Percy, he called. Thank you, sir, said Percy. But I wasn't given a new lamp like Thomas. They had run out, and the gearbox underneath was being changed. But then something went wrong and they had to change it back, which I'm not sure why, he added, feeling a bit puzzled. Never mind, Percy, said the Fat Controller. As long as the main parts I said were mended, that's what's important. Yes, they have been mended, sir, said Percy. Good. Now you deserve a nice long rest, said the Fat Controller. Yes, sir, thank you, sir, said Percy, and puffed onto the turntable to the sheds. Then the Fat Controller went to Henry. Your turn for the works now, Henry, he said. James, Edward and Bear will do your work while you're away. Yes, sir, said Henry, and puffed onto the turntable. He whistled goodbye to the others and puffed away to the works. A couple of weeks had gone by and Henry hadn't returned yet. Just then the Fat Control arrived. Henry should be due here any minute now, he said. And just as he finished, they heard a whistle. 
Here he comes," called Edward. Henry puffed in, feeling grand and cheerful, with new brake pipes, new coupling hooks, and a new coat of paint. The engines cheered and whistled at Henry's look, and also happy that he was back. Welcome back, Henry," called the fat controller. "I expect you'll be looking forward to returning to your jobs." "Yes, sir, I am," said Henry happily. "That's what I like to hear," said the fat controller. "But you'll need to rest first after the long journey you had from the works." Henry agreed and rolled onto the turntable. As Henry puffed back into the shed, the fat controller went over to see Gordon. Now then, Gordon, he said, "It's your turn to go to the works. Henry, James, and Bear will take it in turns with the express until you get back." Yes, sir. Thank you, sir," said Gordon. Gordon whistled goodbye and steamed away to the works. A few weeks went by, and the fat controller arrived to see the engines. "You've all done an amazing job with the express," he said. "But you'll be happy to hear that Gordon will be coming back shortly." Just then, they heard the familiar whistle. There he is now! Yelled Henry. Gordon puffed proudly in with new coupling hooks, new brake pipes, new coat of paint, and a brand new whistle with safety valves too. The engines cheered and cheered. Welcome back, Gordon! Boomed the fat controller. I must say you look so much better and grander for an express engine. Thank you, sir," said Gordon grandly. "I certainly feel like it as well," he added. "Well, you've earned a rest first, and then you can take your train," said the fat controller. "Yes, sir," said Gordon, and rolled onto the turntable. Then puffed back into the sheds. Then the fat controller went over to talk to James. James, after the extra work you've done while Henry and Gordon were away, it has worn your couplings. So, as a reward, I'm also sending you to the works to be mended and to be given a new coat of paint too. Thank you, sir," said James. "I have certainly earned it." For a bright red, splendid working engine, he boasted, but the others didn't take much notice as James puffed out. He whistled goodbye and puffed happily away to the works. A couple of weeks had passed after James left. And he had not returned even on the day he was due back. The engines were beginning to get worried. Just then, the fat controller arrived. Works to James have taken a bit longer than expected due to some urgent parts being delayed, as I was told. James should be back very soon, he said. Just then, they heard the chuffing of an engine in the distance, and they heard the whistle. It's James! cried Percy. And it was. He came into the yards as a brighter and shinier new engine with new coupling hooks, new lamp irons, and a new whistle. The engines whistled in delight for James now that he was back home with his new parts. Welcome back, James," said the fat controller. "I see they have done a splendid job on you." "Yes, sir," said James. "But it would have been much better if the parts for my cab weren't delayed 
I was getting so bored sitting around in that work shed, not being able to move anyway, he added grumpily. At least the work's done properly, James, said the fat controller. Now you can have a rest and fetch a cargo train from the harbour, he said. Yes, sir, said James, as he puffed onto the turntable and turned round to his berth. After James popped into the sheds, the fat controller walked over to see Toby. Toby, he said, your hard work doesn't go unnoticed as well. And as your couplings are worn, I'm sending you to the works for a small repair, so you shouldn't be away for too long. Percy and Duck can look after Henrietta until you get back. Yes, sir, said Toby. He was a bit sad to be leaving Henrietta, but he was also happy that he wouldn't be away for too long. He rang his bell goodbye and steamed off to the works. A few days had passed and as the engines were resting after finishing the hard day's work, they heard a bell ringing that was getting closer and closer. Toby's back, called Percy. Toby popped happily into the yards with his new coupling hooks. The fat controller arrived as the engines cheered. They were all pleased that Toby was back, especially Henrietta. When they had finished, the fat controller spoke. Welcome back, Toby, he called. I imagine you feel as good as new now. I do feel much better with these couplings, sir, said Toby. But I still feel the same as I was when I left for the works. Indeed, laughed the fat controller. It's good to see that you are ready for work tomorrow, but now get a good rest, he finished kindly. Toby was turned round and backed into the sheds where Henrietta was waiting for him. When the fat controller was finished, he left and went home for his tea. The engines were all happy to be as good as new and could think of how lucky they were to be looked after on the island of Sodor. <laughs>